Now, it's almost exactly one year ago today that London experienced record temperatures of over 40 degrees Celsius. I remember it well, with scientists saying extreme weather will become more frequent due to climate change. Today, that topic returned to the capital as a month-long relay designed to raise awareness about the health of our planet came to a close in Westminster. Matt Graveling went along to find out more. They've run, they've swum, they've climbed, they've clapped. Every step of every mile designed to send a message. Please do more to protect our planet. This is a call to government at every level. It's a call to our employers, it's a call to our places of learning, and it's a call to ourselves to take collection, collective action around the climate and around nature. Called a race against time, this relay consists of 5,000 people. Runners, rowers, swimmers and surfers. There's even a dragon boat. It's not just about not burning oil and things like that. It's what you do with your rubbish. It's, it can be disgusting sometimes. We're really lucky and you look down here and it's fantastic. On a really calm day, that's when you see um, some of the rubbish floating around. The baton has travelled along a 1,600 mile route through 35 counties across the UK and it will cross the finish line in London tonight. This will be one of the final handovers of this relay which has lasted 32 days here in London today. The baton has been to Wembley Stadium, it's been to London Zoo in the Tower of London. It's now going to be leaving here, the Royal Docks and going to Westminster where it's hoped the topic of climate change will be discussed a lot more. It's now almost exactly a year since record temperatures were recorded in London something scientists say will continue to rise. The government say the UK is cutting emissions faster than any other G7 country and renewables now account for 40% of our electricity. I feel that as a community we've got more voice towards the government and then maybe the government will listen to a larger voice of people saying it's time, it's time to make the system changes that we need to see in this world. The relay, nicknamed Ben to Ben, began here on Ben Nevis and will conclude in the shadows of Big Ben, with all involved keen to make a positive change in their lifetime before they pass the baton to the next generation. Matt Graveling, BBC London.